So this is a really fun way to use up some of those scraps you have laying around. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and I like to do fashion DIYs. And in today's video, we are going to be embroidering a bucket hat using scraps plus embroidery thread, but also incorporating scraps of fabric. But before we get started, please be sure to give this video a like so I know you like it and as well subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more fashion DIYs. And let's get started. So if you watched my thrift haul, you would have seen that I thrifted this white denim bucket hat for $2. And as much as I like it, there are some stains I wasn't able to get out. So my next best solve is to cover them up. And I figured why not do some sort of embroidery and have some fun with that because I don't typically do embroidery, but it is such an easy way to personalize and make custom items. So that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with this bucket hat. So to make that happen, I have gathered a few supplies. So first I picked my colors and the scrap fabric I wanted to use. So I decided on using this scrap yellow from an old t-shirt I made and this blue that I have a lot left over from a failed dress. And so I went out and purchased embroidery thread that were as close to the color as possible. You will also need a embroidery needle. I have no idea if this is an embroidery needle. It's just thick enough that the embroidery will actually go through. We're just gonna make do with what I have. So the first thing I did was cut out long skinny strips of fabric. Then it was time to figure out my design. I knew I wanted flowers, but I wasn't sure on what style of flower. But once I decided, I moved on to the hat. To make sure my flowers stay consistent, I decided to lightly draw them in pencil. And surprisingly, this pencil did come off when I was erasing it. I started with yellow. This yellow originally came from a t-shirt so it was a knit fabric and very easy to work with. Working along the brim of the hat was more difficult because I was pushing the needle through multiple layers of fabric. My technique was basically no technique. I just wanted it to be tacked down and for it to resemble a flower. So I liked that jagged uneven look that I ended up with. The inside is a little bit of a mess but that's okay. Then I went back to my pencil and drew out some more flowers before moving on to the blue material. So I kind of learned the hard way that the blue fabric I picked out was way too thin for this project. So I kind of had to pivot. And because this blue was the only blue embroidery thread I bought, I had to find another scrap fabric that was similar to this shade. And the only thing I had was denim. So it's, made a really interesting effect but i actually really think it looks cool and i've already done a few so this is what it looks like so far i like how it has this like worn frayed look to it it also allows you to be extremely messy with this process and not really worry about how it turns out because it really adds to it obviously this is a very time consuming project and i kind of keep hopping in and out doing it throughout the week so yeah i will just be here hand sewing away while watching true crime docs on YouTube. To help shape my flower, I found it was easiest to use my finger to hold the fabric in place while I sewed. I guess you could use pins, but I think I would be constantly jabbing myself with the pins if I did that, so this worked for me. I also highly recommend the thimble since you'll be doing this for a while and over time it does start to hurt. I would say on average it took me about 15 to 20 minutes to do each flower. So it's definitely a slow process. Okay, that was a lot of hand stitching, but honestly, so worth it. Look how cute this is. I'm obsessed. This personalized touch and being able to use scraps that I would otherwise not be using is just another win. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some more fashion DIYs and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.